Let's analyze why Kevin De Bruyne is Man City sex factor. To show it, we're going to take a look at the match against Newcastle and how De Bruyne was the game changer. During the first half, Man City were unable to take advantage of the spaces left by Newcastle behind their second line. What Newcastle did was place five players close in the central channel, denying the pass to the core Foden, who appeared between the lines. This left Almiron and Gordon marking Kovacic and Bernardo Silva, who were staying tight, trying to create numerical superiority in the middle, but what this caused was that the middle of the field was congested. The Newcastle centre-backs took Julian Alvarez out of the game by double-teaming him, as they didn't need to jump to defend any player between the lines, as the passing lanes were blocked. This meant that Man City had to play a lot of back passes, and when the ball reached Walker or Guardiola, then the Newcastle fullbacks jump, being very aggressive, preventing progression like in this play with Burn, putting pressure on Walker. On the other side, the same thing happened with Doku, drifting inside to isolate Wardiol, but as soon as the pass was played, Trippier jumped to intercept like in this play, where Newcastle had a good counterattack. When Kevin De Bruyne came on in the 69th minute, Newcastle's defensive problems appeared. Newcastle's second line separated into three sections with possible passing lanes appearing instead of having to get past five players as Newcastle's. Two wingers are more open. Rodri only has to get past the three midfielders to find the free player between the lines. Walker is spinning Gordon, allowing the Bruyne to look for this space to receive by drifting wide to the right place, waiting the two centre-backs with Julian Alvarez. The Argentine player drags one of the two players marking him, De Bruyne receives uncontested, turns and drives to the edge of the box to score with a shot between the defender's legs. And in Man City's decisive goal, we see another role in which De Bruyne is fundamental for Guardiola. Rodri and the Belgian player switch positions, De Bruyne with his great vision identifies Bob, attacking a space, and throws a perfect pass in the gap between right back and center back. As Guardiola said at the end of the match, players like Haaland or De Bruyne are those whose qualities allow them to find solutions in the final third. Man City was playing a good game, but without Kevin De Bruyne's characteristics to open spaces, Man City would surely not have won this game. Kevin De Bruyne, the X Factor of Man City.